Ideogram AI just released their latest model, Ideogram 2.0, and it's clearly they're aiming to compete with major players like Midjourney and the newly launched Flux AI. Ideogram AI has introduced their newest version, Ideogram 2.0, and it's a significant upgrade. Known as an underdog in the AI space, Ideogram has always been good but hasn't always received the recognition it deserves. With this release, they're looking to change that. Ideogram 2.0 brings a boost in realism, making it a strong option for creating lifelike images. Besides photorealism, they've also packed in new features and presets, so whether you're after a sleek 3D render, an anime-style character, or a detailed graphic design with cool text, this update has you covered. To really understand what Ideogram 2.0 is bringing to the table, we need to consider the current landscape of AI image generation. Over the past few months, there have been significant developments in this space. Flux1 just launched and quickly became the go-to generator for GruCon X, making big moves in establishing itself alongside other major players like Stable Diffusion XL, Auraflow, Cures, and Hunan. The competition is intense, with new entrants constantly vying for attention. But here's the twist. Idegram 2.0 isn't just trying to keep up. It's aiming to surpass the competition. In their official announcement, Ideogram claimed that their new model outperformed others in several key areas, including image text alignment, how well the image matched the prompts, and even text rendering within images, a notoriously tricky aspect of AI image generation. If you've used these tools before, you know how challenging it can be to get text right, but Ideogram 2.0 seems to have cracked the code. Let's dive into the standout features of Ideogram 2.0. They've introduced 5 presets designed to make it easy to achieve the style you're after. First, there's the Realism preset which creates images that look incredibly lifelike as if captured by a camera. The design preset is ideal for graphic design, ensuring that your text and visuals are flawless with no more odd glitches. The 3D preset is focused on giving your images a polished, computer-generated look. Anime fans will appreciate the anime preset which perfectly captures that manga-style vibe. Lastly, there's the General Purpose Preset, a versatile option that adopts to almost any prompt, making it an excellent starting point for any creative project you have in mind. These presets are a game changer, especially if you're not into spending hours fine tuning your prompts. But that's not all. Ideogram 2.0 has also introduced a color palette control. This feature is super cool because it lets you pick the exact colors you want in your images whether you're trying to match a brand's color scheme or just have a specific vibe in mind. You've got a lot more control over the final product. Now, let's talk a bit more about the realism preset because this is where the Ideogram 2.0 really shines. One of its big selling points is how lifelike the images can be. We're talking about textures that look so real, you feel like you could reach out and touch them, and human features like skin and hair that are incredibly detailed. This is going to be a huge draw for people who need realistic images but maybe don't have the time or skills to create them from scratch. Realism isn't just about making things look real, it's also about making things look right. That's where the improved image text alignment comes in. With the new model, what you type is pretty much what you get. The model is much better at understanding the nuances of your prompts and generating images that match your vision. This is a big deal because, let's be honest, we've all had those moments where the AI just doesn't get what we're asking for. Ideogram 2.0 aims to eliminate those frustrating moments. And here's something that really caught my attention. Text rendering. If you've used AI image generators before, you know that getting decent text in your images can be a nightmare. You might type out a simple phrase and the model gives you a weird jumbled mess of letters. With this model, that's not the case. They've significantly improved how the model handles text, making it a solid option for anyone who needs images with clear, readable text, whether it's for social media posts, a design project, or just something fun. They've also released a brand new iOS app, and for Android users, don't worry, they've got an app coming for you soon. 
On top of that, they've launched a beta version of their API, which means you can now integrate Ideogram 2.0's tech into your own projects, bringing high quality image generation wherever you need it. The API pricing is very competitive too. Oh, and I almost forgot, they've introduced something called Ideogram Search, allowing you to browse through over a billion images generated by users over the past year. So if you're ever in need of inspirations, you've now got a vast of library of creative work to explore and spark new ideas. Now let's talk about the experiences of actually using Ideogram 2.0, because there are a few things you should know before diving in. First, the freemium model Ideogram 2.0 is free to use but with some limitations. If you're on the free plan, you can generate up to 20 images a day, split into 5 batches of 4 images each. That's pretty decent amount if you're just dabbling or working on smaller projects. However, if you're a power user, you might want to consider upgrading to one of their paid plans. These start at $8 per month, which gives you more flexibility in a higher image cap. For those who are really serious about image generation, there's an unlimited slow generations plan for $20 per month which is quite competitive especially when compared to something like mid journey where the basic plan is ten dollars and unlimited slow generations cost thirty dollars so ideogram is positioning itself as a more affordable alternative but it's not just about the price the user experience is designed to be super intuitive especially if you're not a fan of the more technical prompt engineering required by other tools with ideogram 2.0 the focus is on simplicity without sacrificing quality which is a big win for anyone more interested in the creative process than the technical details how does Ideogram 2.0 stack up against newer models like Flux1, which has been making waves with its integration into Groucon X? Based on initial tests and user feedback, it seems Ideogram 2.0 is holding its own quite well. In fact, the realism preset appears to perform on par with Flux1, which is impressive considering the buzz around Flux1. For those who prioritize personalization, Midjourney still has an edge with its customization features. However, Ideogram 2.0 isn't far behind. With its new color palette control and various presets offering a lot of creative freedom, without needing to delve into complex prompt engineering or additional tools like Style Transfer or Loras. So, is Ideogram 2.0 worth it? Definitely! It's easy to use, delivers high quality results, and is affordable. With improvements in realism, better text rendering, and features like color palette control, it's a strong contender in AI image generation. Plus, with the new iOS app, Developer API, and Ideogram Search, it's a versatile tool for both pros and newcomers. Whether you're deep into AI art or just starting out, Ideogram 2.0 is worth checking out. It could easily become your go-to creative tool. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the latest in tech and AI. And if you've tried out Ideogram 2.0, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear about your experiences. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.